What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, you from Pasco, Washington. And can you share with us um, what happened to you this weekend? Uh, yeah, so um, as most of you know, I'm a truck driver. I drive a big semi truck, um, a long, uh, 75 feet long. So um, I just came back from the trip. When I was coming back in Wyoming State, uh, about 10, uh, about uh, 1,000 miles from home, so um, I recognized that I just fill up not a, not for a while ago, and I see my uh, gauge about the, the quarter, so I'm about a uh, hundred gallons uh, short. So I started thinking that something happened. So I stop on the side, I look under, and I see the big diesel leak uh, from the truck and. I was able to get to the truck stop I parked. It happened on Saturday, um, last Saturday. Um, I stopped and I see it's a big problem, uh, problem with the engine. I went to the mechanic, he, he told me, we're not even fixing it here at the truck stop and you go to the dealer and or order the parts and wait and stuff. The, the shop was closed until Monday. So the, um, uh, I called the boss and he said, okay, you wait until Monday, then you go to shop. Then they're going to order the parts, it's going to come in a couple of days, they start fix, working on it, fixing, so it's probably, I wouldn't be staying here now, maybe a week later, if not, uh, if not because of the God and the prayer. So and the good thing, I didn't choose to be a guy that uh, stopped praying uh, about the trip and stuff and thinking that oh, maybe God doesn't want to bless this trip to the end because I prayed before I'm going. So um, I started to pray and I just thanks God that it happened, everything is fine. I thanks God that I know his ways are much bigger than yours and your mind can't even catch up with his mind. So um, you go on a trip on a big semi truck, your truck breaks down because of all these li liquids yeah. are coming out of places. And so, and it happened on Saturday, and yeah. then um, you call your boss, your boss says that uh, you can't repair it because it's a weekend, so it's going to take yeah. about a week to repair. Um, you wake up on Sunday morning, what happens then? Yeah, so uh, I prayed, and uh, then um, um, I read the Bible, and uh, I chose just, I, I asked God just to help me to uh, find out the faster way and to come home as faster as possible. So I wake up on uh, Sunday morning. And it's like I still seen this clear picture. It was like I already uh, was seeing it half of the night, and I can see uh, clearly the way. I, I can see like the open, uh, open hood, and I see this hose that goes from the where the leak is. It was from the water tank reservoir, and I see the build hose that goes from there uh, to the back to the tank. So the thing is, the leak was from there. And I didn't have already antifreeze in my cooling system, and uh, because the thing uh, with the uh, broken the engine and the, my diesel went to the cooling system, so the all the water already were pushing through because the hundred gallons already went on the road and with the water. So it's the picture that I just have to build this hose where the leak is, and it's just going to be going back to the tank and back over there it's gonna be like a circle so and I'm not gonna be losing it so I was like wow it's is it even possible maybe it's gonna just burn everything and uh, nine cars that I have on my trailer I called the bus he called me Hennig and he said it's actually doable it's not fine but it's doable <laughs> so I got even the same color hose, the clear yellow hose that uh, I saw the, on the fourth dimension on the picture so I built it, did everything the same, and I started the engine, wasn't any leak, and I got back home, like, in time. If I would do that Sunday morning, I would even get home, like, not even any delay. And Boya, um, have you ever experienced something like that? I've seen your picture of how to fix your truck. Have you ever had this before in your life? No, I recognize, like, God knows everything, engines, mechanic stuff. He's the best mechanic, the best, like, you know, the... You might want to start a business. Um, so what is your advice now for people that, you know, um, with this testimony that you have for us? Uh, advice, uh, just um, don't leave your prayer if you have a situation... Uh, 
and uh, maybe it feels like uh, God doesn't want to touch it or answer the prayer and maybe you feel like you want to just stop and just don't stop and God just has his ways and it just right there you need just to reach this ways and just keep praying and he's going to answer like the miracle ways like to me it is a miracle I, I couldn't you know I know mechanic and the cars I work on it but this is the way like with the diesel cooling system running through I couldn't imagine it's possible and to do that and yeah so just keep praying and God's gonna answer your prayer and show you in fourth dimension or answer the other ways.